take you through the fire you couldn't win. Persevere, but I know you're breaking. And I feel alive, I feel alive. G'day everyone, welcome to the tutorial for What You Go by Tyne James Organ. Um, this was the first song I ever heard of his um, when he was sort of first starting to pop off on the scene. And yeah, I kind of instantly fell in love with the lyricism and the songwriting of Tyne himself. And yeah, I just think he's such an excellent artist um, who probably doesn't still get the recognition that he deserves. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go... Make sure you hit like, hit subscribe. If you've got any tutorial requests, leave a comment down below. And now we can just jump straight into it. <laughs> Alright, so there's a chord list out there for this song. I'll put a link to that down in the description below just to sort of make it easier to follow along with. But essentially we've got a G, a G an E minor, and a C, C G kind of thing. Now, you'll notice that they're not like full chords, so not like a full G, E minor is the same, but the C, G is very similar. So, basically for the first verse, second verse, the other little verse sections in there as well, we've got this sort of picking riff. So, what I'm doing there is I'm sort of on this G chord, it's only the top part, and we're going E string, E, A, E, B, strum on the top, top sort of top half of the strings into a down strum and then sort of like a little down and hammer on into your E minor and then E A E A B and then a little up down strum when you change chords C so this is just three on the E Three on the A, two on the D. So then you do your down or strum, and then little strum up, and then pick B, and then when you pick the B again, hammer on to fret one, then you pick the chord, hit it again and pull off. 
This is a little bit confusing to try and explain properly. What we've got is... I hope that makes sense. It's very tricky to explain, but we're doing like a little picking between the chord and the B string. Chord, B string, chord, B string, hammer on, pull off. So yeah. That's basically the verses. Now there's a little pre chorus section where it goes. Now I know how it My voice doesn't do that little high section. Something like that, but it's just an A minor, a C, and a D. Bones of it. Then you've got the chorus, um, which is hopefully the same. Yeah, very similar. So basically, the back half of the song follows this section bar one bit. So it's like. In So it's just like a, a G, D, and then the C we play here is just a proper C. And then you can strum it a bit. Keep the fire, keep it burning so I know that I'll come around, I'll come around, I'll come around. What? So that's basically the same. The rotation is just G, D, C. And then the only other bit is like, I don't know, you'd almost call it a bridge. Uh, where he's like... And watch you go... Watch you go... Watch you go... Watch you go... another little bit again where he starts instead of the G in the chorus so I said it goes G D C starts playing it as an E minor instead and I was mistaken and then he's getting really into it at this point Pre-arranged the song up with just a uh... 
heard you leaving, so what you're taking? Nah. Is how you play Watch You Go by Ty and James Organ. It's a pretty hard song to explain the structure of because it's not like verse, chorus, verse, chorus. Um, it's kind of just like a flowing, flowing mix of emotion, I would say. Um, but yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for sticking around and watching it. Um, go and watch another tutorial while you're here. And yeah, cheers.